Hey, my name is Daniel Seraf. I'm a professional guitarist and teacher, and I've been teaching professionally for about 15 years, but for the last two years, I've been teaching almost exclusively online, right? Private lessons. And so um, I wanted to come at you with this tip today, and that tip is simply do not use FaceTime, okay? FaceTime is not a high quality production program meant to stream and share information with your students, okay? Um, there are way better apps and a couple reasons why I don't recommend FaceTime for this. One of the reasons is um, you cannot record on FaceTime, okay? So, you know, uh, for a lot of our students who are working on more advanced, you know, um, things like say you're a college teacher and you're working on, you know, advanced information like how to improvise on jazz or, you know, uh, you're a classical teacher and how do you, you know, work on this phrasing. It's like, um, recording the lesson is just such an integral part to you know informing and helping your student right so that they can go back and they can reference the material afterwards right FaceTime doesn't have that ability okay so that's a problem for me I really like to have my students be able to record the lesson if they want to okay secondly um, FaceTime doesn't have the ability to share your screen Okay, well, what does that mean? It's not a big deal for some maybe, but for me, I like to use, uh, you know, kind of multiple programs that I can share. Things like, uh, you know, notation, writing notation out for students. I like them to see it as I do it so they can see, oh, you know, things start to click to them as, things start to click for them as they might see me write a diagram of a fretboard out or write out a tab or a standard notation, you know, or a chord chart. It's like, oh, I understand now, you know, things that wouldn't have clicked otherwise. It's like they're sitting with you in person and you're writing the chart out in front of them, right? So sharing my screen with my students is really important to me. The other thing that I notice about FaceTime is it's great if you're trying to hang out and chat with your boyfriend and girlfriend because they're across the country, but the quality it's just not very good. Um, it's just not remotely as good as many of the other programs, and really one program specifically. So the point of all this, the program that I recommend to use is Zoom. Okay, I've been using it for a while. I do use a little bit of Skype, but the one that works the best for me is Zoom. You can check out Zoom below. I have a link below, it's an affiliate link, so go ahead and check it out. If you end up buying something, uh, I get a little bit of money. It's cool for me, but if you don't buy anything, that's cool too because it's a great program and I hope that you'll use it because you enjoy it. If you're new to this channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding the bell so you know every time I upload a new video, I'm uploading a lot of uh, new guitar lessons as well as things directed at online music educators so that you can learn everything you need to know in order to be the best guitar player or the best teacher that you can be. All right, thanks so much for checking out this short video and I hope you'll go over there and use Zoom and best of luck with your online lessons. Take care.